Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss user datagram protocol. Let me use computer or any electronic gadget and use any application program. That application program continuously generates the data which is in the form of zeros and ones. And once that data is generated by the application program, that is handed over to the transport layer. And the job of the transport layer is to break up that data into parts and that part is of 8 bits long. 8 bits means 1 byte. So the job of the transport layer is to take that data byte wise and put that data into PDU or calc data part. So it's, it's taking the parts in terms of bytes of the data from the transport layer and it's, 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 it combines in data and it adds header on top of that and this is called the datagram so transport layers takes the data byte wise and forms the data part of the datagram and adds header on top of it and UDP or user datagram uh, protocol is the protocol data unit and this is called the datagram so UDP PDU is called datagram and TCP PDU is, U is called the segment so again the application program generates the data hands over to the transport layer transport layer takes the data byte wise and uh, makes the datagram and it's it adds header on top of that and this datagram actually helps multiple application programs to use a network at the same time. It means it allows for multiplexing. Today we are going to discuss the header part of this datagram. So like we did in the TCP in other video, we are going to discuss the different fields available in the header part of the datagram. So first we are going to discuss the the length part of the uh, header in length this is a 16 bit fields this actually gives us the total length of the datagram total length means this length includes a data part and the header part of the datagram and the maximum length is 16 bits it means the maximum length can be 2 raised to power 16 so whatever is the answer so that will be the maximum size of the datagram and this segment header size actually is 8, 8 bytes so you can see this is the 8 bytes this is the segment header size so we discuss this one length and then the next field is the checksum the checksum is there to help in checking the errors so when we transfer the data from one point to another there may be some of the errors and there is an there's a way to find out that so we have reserved the 16 bits in the checksum field to check the data and you see if we compare this uh, header with the TCP header we don't have any sync flag SYNC flag and there is no way to to initiate a three-way handshake it means connection is not going to be established between two nodes this is the reason that UDP is also called the connectionless protocol and next two fields are very important so they, they are required when we use different application programs like instant messaging video streaming and web pages on a single computer and those applications may be in contact or may be in communication with other applications and the remote nodes now to differentiate in between these all application programs uh, uh, identifier is used and that identifier is called the port address and we need to have the port address as a source node and we also need to have a port address at a destination so the port address as a source node we also need a port address a destination node for each and every application we need we need a port so we have the source port address and the destination port address so on every application we will have a source port and the destination ports so uh, we have 16 bits for the source port address and we also have the 16 bits for the destination port address and in this way we can calculate the maximum number of port addresses that is 2 raised to power 16 
so we will have these many different port addresses some well known port ports which which are uh, which use udp are given in this table so you see we have the, some well known ports here and this is tftp that is trivial file transfer protocol this uses port number of 69 and this uses this uses protocol of udp and then we also have rip route routing information protocol that uses port numbers of 520 and it also uses the uses udp another thing is that in this udp actually the message when it then the message travels it may take different paths and the segment as the, the the data grams which we can which can take different paths to arrive at the destinations so these data gram may arrive at different orders then then the order in which they were transmitted and we don't have any sequence number field in here it means whatever datagrams arrives here that may be in uh, may be out of order and there is no way at the transport layer when using udp to reassemble the data in correct order so this is the reason that uh, this 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 uh, this is also called a best effort delivery it means there is no way to reorder just we are trying our best to deliver the message from source to destination so these were the four important fields in utp header and uh, the size is eight bytes and i hope you you got some idea from this video and i would like to thank you for your time thank you